just look at this. Oh, oh, can't tell you that I'm not dead, because uh, anyhow, they were sending them away three or four at a time to mm. over east to do school. Ross Ambrose would have been older than the most, wouldn't he? Oh, he was, oh yes, they were yeah. older than me. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, picked me into play, he turned out to had brought it, um, then uh, that was uh, Branson, George Branson. Oh, yes. And, uh, yes. Uh, nickname Piggy, was it? Mm -hmm. Was his nickname Piggy? Piggy Branson? Uh, I think, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I can't tell you on, the, on here how we got that. No, nah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then one, uh, then one day they, us that hadn't been, there was out of the 20 of us, there was about eight or nine still to go. Mm. All the rest had got their commissions. They called us in one at a time and said that we were, the battalion was going to sail. Did we want to sail or uh, remain? We were no obligation to sail. We could have remained, uh -huh. but uh, I decided to sail, and so did all the others. They decided to sail too. Yes. Uh, there was Harry Lucas, Bill Cape, John McGlynn, Jim Scott. Oh, I think that is. And. Uh, so we were sent, or oh, Peter Negri, we were sent on our um, uh, pre-em leave and then we joined the boat on the Aquitaine and the moment I stepped on the Aquitaine, you know, they put me straight into sea company, back into sea company. Yes, yeah. So do you remember your arrival in Singapore? Uh, <laughs> when we got to, uh, somewhere in around Java there somewhere. Mm. They took us off to Acritania and put us on these little uh, Indonesian boats. Mm. And the one we were on was a fishing boat or something and had a cow pen in the middle with a cow in it. Yes. <laughs> and uh, and uh, they took us to Singapore and then the Acritania mm. yeah. uh, uh, left. So, Singapore was already being bombed at that stage. Yeah, they're, they're already, by the time we arrived in Singapore, the decision had been already made to evacuate Malaya and all come back to Singapore. That that decision had been already oh, made. Yes. And um, we uh, we landed and we marched out the camp, which was a bit vague where the camp was. Yes. And. Uh, and that night, uh, well, we heard our first bombs. Wonder what the squealing was for a bit, but we soon found out. Yes. And uh, I was on guard duty that night. That's one thing I remember. And the next day, they called out Peter Beaton, Freddie Webb, myself. Hands, hands off, I get to her, but, and uh, they sent us onto this um, artillery gun that was pointed out onto Jehovaru. Uh -huh. But we weren't allowed to shoot anything. You could see plenty, but uh -huh. we weren't allowed to fire it. Uh -huh. you, you could see the Japs over there? We could see the Japs, uh -huh. yeah. but we couldn't, weren't allowed to fire the. Um, um, Fire the guns. Oh. Nobody was allowed to fire no. the guns. Of front were blowing up the blanket Taj Mahal or something. I think. Yes. Whatever it was there. You could actually see his yeah. palace, could you? From you, you could just actually see it. And the, the causeway. Uh, could, well, you, could you uh, see the, the causeway? Was, well down below the causeway, you could just see where the causeway was. Yes. Yeah. And um, there was a sort of a what we called a river bout, but it'd be just an inlet. Was that the Cranji River, or were you further uh, along than that? And uh, we were right on that. Yes. And um, while we were, we're there, there's nothing that's happening for a while. There was a boat there, Peter Beaton got this boat going. And uh, then just all of a sudden everything erupted. Mm. 
and the Japs were around the back of us and we were cut off. Our only exit was across this bit of river into the mangrove swamps. So uh, the uh, artillery ranks uh, done the best to sabotage the good, the cannon. Mm -hmm. And we all hopped on this boat that Peter had been fixing up across the mouth of this bit of inlet, whatever it was, into the uh, mangroves swamp. Mm. And when we came out of it, we came out right on our battalion. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah right on our battalion. Mm. And, uh, and now we had no trouble finding uh, finding C Company. And uh, that night, that, uh, oh, I'm done with it. Mm. Yeah, the night it was, not that night. Um, they, um, they sent us up on the top of a, a, a hill that had a um, pine plantation on the slope. And we were shooting over this pine plantation down into the mangrove swamps where the Japanese were hidden in the mangrove swamps. And the uh, there was a telephone down on the edge of the mangrove swamps and they're trying to get artillery support for us. And uh, anyhow, Captain Thompson says, uh, can anybody get to that phone? And I says, oh, I can. And Tarek says, if Blue's going, I'll go with him. Uh -huh. so, Was that Charlie Thomas? Mm -hmm. Was that Captain Charlie Thomas? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And, uh, and anyhow, uh, we got the phone, Clarky rang up and got on the artillery. But it was dark and by then we were, we were cut off, the Japs had got between us and our boys. Mm -hmm. So we wandered around until nearly midday next day in the mangroves before we found a gap to come out. We come out where an uh, English artillery mob was. All I remember the captain was a red-headed bloke. So we spent the day with them, and that evening we decided to, uh, Tom, we found our battalion. So we went down, we went along this road, and they were hitting it with mortars and blowing holes in it. And we come across a stretcher bearer. We said, in he's in West Australia battalion, second floor, second. He said, I believe they're up that way somewhere. He said, oh, it's terrible there. He said, he was nearly wore out. So we went up and first person I come across was George Moyer of the second floor, the second gunners, of course. Went in and uh, Mick was glad to see us arrive back. So we immediately set up to keep, to keep guard again. So we were there then, and it was on the, where they, we were camped on the cemetery. Just below us, there was a bit of a dry creek with rubber trees in it. And I remember Major Cameron was, was sitting on a box, and they started shelling us. And he never moved, he just sat there. Everybody else died for cover. Uh -huh. And uh, the Chinese had these chook pens. And they hit one of them. And this burned trickles like with all the other trickles. They had strong voices. You could hear him at the top of his voice, hey, hey, cut it out, you're frightening the chooks. <laughs> so that was Remember that? And uh, anyhow, there's, they only shelled us for about 20 minutes, and it was about 40 of our blokes got hit. Uh -huh. And uh, so, so we were still at that area. Well, was that that night actually was was when Singapore capitulated, and the real quiet, uh -huh. the real quiet of it. 
after what you were doing before. Yes. I remember trying out, I had a tin of herrings and tomato sauce I was trying to open in the dark. I had my jackknife out and I had to wait on every cannon flash before I could cut it a bit. Mm. So I'm laying under the mouth of this cannon. Um, and every time the cannon flashed, I, I, I get a bit more tomato sauce, tomato, tomato sauce. <laughs> well, um, Bert, we'll move along now and we'll, we'll go to the point when you are on in May 42 when you're on the ship and you're moving up to Burma and you're dropped off at v Victoria Point. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell us about Victoria Point? Uh, Victoria Point, uh, it wasn't, wasn't a bad camp. Uh, it wasn't good of course, but the, the food was uh, basically up in a way that there wasn't. But the rice <laughs> was unbelievable. It was grey with weevils. Uh -huh. And uh, I remember one day I was going to take the weevils out. I started taking them out and decided, <laughs> decided that I'd have to leave them there or I'd finish up with no rice. Uh -huh. uh, and, uh, as far as uh, maltreatment go, they 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 they, uh, they weren't too bad as from my point of view of maltreatment, but uh, uh, they made no hesitation once you got caught trying to escape. Yes. And they had no hesitation in executing executing mm. him. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Harry Furman. And it's by the name of Major Parks, although you're in the Major from Donnybrook. We know he's always known the Major. Uh, and myself, we, we decided to escape. But we let let them up the, know, the officers know. Did you tell Major Green? Uh, oh, yeah, oh. That he knew about it. Oh. And uh, so, so, anyhow, we said, but if we can't get anywhere, we'll come back. Oh. And we we worked for about oh nearly dark, and we thought oh we won't we won't get it. we better nick back. So we turned around and went back, but that had parade by the time we got back. But the um, chaps were told that we we're on a work party, and they said, well tell them to report when they come back. Mm. So we came back and it went around all the camp real bush to them. They're back, they're back, they're back, they're yes, back. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so we went to Japs, brought take the Japs and everything was okay. There was no uh, had no problem. Yes. But uh, uh, we used to uh, get these periwinkles to eat mm. off the rocks. And uh, there's Cody. He, uh, he was sent of attraction there a bit because that's where we found everybody started to find out that he could do really do a good sketch. Um. And he'd done some sketches, I think, that'd be probably around somewhere. Mm. But other than that, Victoria Point was uh, basically uneventful. Do you remember the, any doctors that were in Victoria Point? I never had reason to see a doctor there. I just can't remember who the doctors were there. Well, your own battalion yeah, doctor would... Yeah, it was, was, was going to be there. Was but others I can't remember. Claude Anderson? Uh, Claude, I'm pretty sure Claude was there. I thought you, you when we were talking earlier, you yeah. mentioned that Captain Hobby, he nicknamed Hobby, yeah. uh, White was there. He was along the Burma line. Uh, yes, oh, you remember him on the Burma line. Yeah, yeah oh. on the Burma line. I remember yeah. him well on the Burma yeah. line. He was, but... Uh, and then uh, Victoria Point 